Hey everybody, Rock DIY here. Today I'm going to cover how to remove the door panel from a 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat. The very first thing that needs to be done is this cover right here needs to be removed and there's four clips. There's one, two, three, four. And basically you just have to pry it out. Start at the bottom or start at the top. The top tends to be a little easier to pop out. If you do pop it out from the bottom, just go from the sides. And I am using some trim tools to help do this job. I've already released it. And then you'll see that there is a screw right there that you need to remove. This screw is a seven millimeter. Next thing you need to do is remove this cover. And if you look along the edges, you won't see any notches like you would normally for these type of pieces. So what you have to do is use a tool somewhat like this, reach in, yank the top out, and then go over to this side and do the same thing so that you release the two top ones. And then just be careful. This when I did it this time it just fell out but there are two little hinges at the bottom that you don't want to snap off so don't try to remove it from the bottom start at the top and then just let it fall away and then there are two seven millimeter screws that need to come out the next thing to remove are these two seven millimeter screws and just keep them in mind that these are at an angle they're not straight in so you got to be careful when you put those back on that they go back at an angle. But there's one here and then another one right there. So far we've removed this cover which has four points in, in which it attaches. You got one seven millimeter screw here. Then this cover was removed which has two seven millimeter screws. And then the screws the two seven millimeter screws down here were also removed. And then the next step is going to be removing the panel, which has some plastic connectors or retainers that go all the way around the bottom portion. And this is where you gotta be really careful because you do have a door handle that's still connected, electrical connections still connected. And then because you're prying the panel off and I'm using trim tools but I want to be careful uh, not to ding up the paint so I'm going to use a rag and then use a uh, trim panel tool and I'll start at the bottom and then work my way around so I'll either start this edge or I'll start over this edge and then work around in some cases using a trim tool to pry the door panel off it's actually more complicated than just uh, what you can do is just grab it and give it a nice good tug and it'll pop there will be plastic retainers from about here all the way around until you get to there so tug tug if it if it doesn't want to come out over here just reach under and tug it around as you go then once you get all those plastic retainers or nylon retainers undone you just lift the door panel off and once you get it off you'll see where everything's connected so you get your lock here you get your door handle there and then some additional electrical connectors over there for the window switch there's a little tab right here push it in pull down disconnect and then over here there's a tab up here at the top push that down pull out and we got another one here so the tab is right there push it in pull down with the actual lock knob there's two tabs 
push them both in, pull down, and that comes out. If you have a second person to help you at this point, it would probably be a good idea. Otherwise, you may run into some issues trying to disconnect everything uh, while trying to hold the panel at the same time. Something that is nice is if you remove the panel, and you can see down there at the bottom, there's two little pieces that stick out. You can put the bottom edge of the door panel on that while you work on removing everything. But you do have to be careful because they are plastic pieces and they're actually what the screws go into at the bottom of the door panel. So this portion here is completely different than my previous truck. I had a 2010 Ford F-150 Platinum and it didn't have a door handle like this so I did have to look up how to remove this cable from the door handle. Unfortunately every video I saw goes through all the steps until it gets to this part and not one person removes this. In fact there's quite a few videos on removing the door handle but some of them don't talk about this at all. Some of them say there's no reason to remove this, but I would say that, you know, if you want it to be more convenient to work on whatever you're working on, removing your speakers, doing something in your window, whatever, that it would be easier to take this off and completely get the door panel off. And also in one video, the guy went through all the steps, and you know, when he got to this, he said, this part becomes very complicated so that's the reason why he wasn't going to take it off so here is what is so complicated about taking this off there's a little tab right here push down lift up and lift out and there you go door panel can now be completely removed be aware that while you're removing the door panel there may be some little foam pieces that fall off like this piece here and this piece right here they just fell out but just be aware that some pieces may fall off and you'll have to put them back in place there are some videos that show that this uh, reflect red reflected piece needed it's not a light it's just a red piece of uh, plastic you can remove this and there is a seven millimeter screw in here but you can still remove the panel without even taking this off because you can see here this is where the screw goes into this plastic piece but this piece right here actually pops inside the door so you can do it either way you can take the screw out here or you can just take it off like you would normally